Hello and welcome to the second part of 2D Sandbox Survival Tutorial. Now we are going to learn how to add our new player and animate it. So go to Resources and Prefabs folder. This is 2D Sandbox, of course. We have in this folder players and of course the prefabs that you saw in first episode. Here's the player new prefab that I created last time. So let's create our new player. We don't want to create everything from the beginning. So let's just copy paste our created file. Uh, let's find your prefab in system. Create, uh, copy and paste player new prefab in folder uh, rename it to player free for example now we have player free in our editor so let's create the texture and animation to our player free I have created texture to player free in sprites folder it is a slime it's pink and it jump not walk but that doesn't matter let's find in sprites folder sprite entities 2 and open it is in sprite editor here you can find every NPC I've created uh, here is a slime let's create 16 per 16 pixels mm, sprites you have to create it we have to do it with every sprite every slime you can see it let's name the first and second sprite as um, slime idle 1 and slime idle 2 uh, third and others name as a walk because there will be two animations, idle and walk animation. Okay, we have created two animations. To create animation, we have sprites only. To create animation, let's move, let's select first two sprites idle and move it to hierarchy. And find animation folder and name it as you want. I name it anim slime idle. You can delete it it's not important now do it with a walk animation just copy it find animation folder and save it there name it anim slime walk we have created two animations walk and idle you can find them in animations folder let's go to the player free prefab uh, change texture to your slime or whatever you have created or used mm, okay we have slime now we need to create animation go to animations folder and delete created controllers from slime walk and idle mm, we are going to copy and paste first player controller animation controller so let's find the location where the animations folder on system is and copy sprite entities controller because it's the player controller rename it to whatever you want slime animator controller I will name it as a slime animation animator controller mm, to find it okay we have it now let's find it and here it is we are going to create, there are two animations, tool animations and walk animations. And now let's create walk animation. If you have created and you have uh, animation walk, let's just put animation slime animation walk to this block. To orange block, let's put idle animation because it is a default animation that will start at the beginning okay let's go to the prefab free 
a player free prefab and replace zombie animation to our slime animator controller as you can see on the uh, on the video okay now go to select player scene find main camera add third player just find player free okay so we have added the player free to player select and let's test it start game we can see our player free in select players and we can play it I didn't change the speed of uh, idle animation but uh, I hope you change it doesn't matter you can do it I will show you how to do it but we forgot to add tools animation but it's really simple as you can see it's player animation tool but uh, don't worry we will do it right now go back to uh, animation controller of your slime select block with tools animation and we have to create a tools animation to slime find location where the animations are uh, we can use walk animation as a tool animation so find walk slime walk animation copy paste it and replace the name as a slime anim, anim slime tools or whatever now you can put it there of course and here I changed in orange box you can change speed animation I prefer oh 0.05 it's okay okay let's open word scene it will show slime in the beginning and place tool our walk animation is in tools animation now it's working we have everything done that's your job you done it and it's great in next tutorial I will show equipment and recipes so see you in next tutorial